Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Steve at Bucks Coins and welcome back to a new video. Today is in the post number 14. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where I give you an overview of what I've got that has just come in recently and what we're going to be showing over the next couple of weeks, over the next few weeks. I have two trading cards. One is the Victoria Cross Heroes Axe, Heroic Axe, and the other one is the Roger Bannister Sub 4 Minute Mile. I do have these cards already. I'm still only still missing the one card. That one card being uh, the, uh, the Platinum Jubilee. I'm not sure whether that has actually been issued or not. It was supposed to have been, but I'm not sure whether it has or not. I do have the rest of them. I keep promising a review of them, and I will review them at some point over the next, before Christmas anyway. I have two items that are from Chase Checker. One is the blue card and the second one was from the Royal Mint which was the bunk pack and they both represent the year of the rabbit or the lunar year of the rabbit which is the one that starts in February next year or is it the end of January next year I'm not 100% sure of the exact date but I can find that out when I do the actual review this coin has Her Late Majesty the Queen's uh, portrait on it fifth portrait although these coins are actually dated 2023 and they will be one of a few set of coins that will have the Queen's date on the other one that we had just recently of course was the 2023 uh, Royal uh, Tudor Beast but I will go and tell you more about the uh, Year of the Rabbit and all that however the bunk packs for these must be made a while ago because they've got the old style hanger uh, wrap on them rather than the new tight one, the one that fits inside boxes that they make. The second thing I have to show you, oops, let's just take that in a little bit, is this bag of coins. They're all Canadian coins, they're all 25 cents and they're for the year 2000. However, Christopher, please don't expect to see these in your box. They are a, they are a set of uh, commemorative coins, so they won't be going forward to uh, Christopher's uh, challenge uh, to break the world record. I also have found in my change amongst all the 50p's that I get, get or I ask for when I go to pay for something I ask for £2 coins and 50 pence pieces I have two Peter Rabbits from 2018 and two 70th anniversary, Platinum anniversary coins the ones, uh, the ones that went into circulation I also from this year I had two bags. Let me just take those up. These are all coin hunts 247 and 248. They've been numbered. They will be shown eventually. I have, I think, around about 180 bags of coins that I need to get through. I might be sending a few on to Christopher to help his world coin hunts. I've just got so many of them. So those would be. What, what I intend to do with those is I'll do a couple of coin hunts from the world coin hunts from the stuff that I had in the stock for about three or four years and maybe one coin hunt from the brand new stock that I've just got in this last year this bag of coins of the four coins are from Tanzania and they're animal coins so I'll be doing a special review of those four coins 
Talking of animals, oh yeah, you may have seen this from a couple of the others. It's the wildlife wetland animals coins. The 10 piece from Guernsey. I'll be doing a review on those in the next week or so, so keep your eyes out for them. Maybe 10 days or so before I get to them. So I have the believe it or not, I have around about 50 videos that I've already recorded, ready to edit and release. So me keep on buying this stuff is just adding to the end of the you know, for the, li for the list of stuff to get longer before I get round to them. However, they also came with a note. There may be one more set of these wildlife coins before the end of the year. It hasn't been confirmed yet. There is a possible release going on later this year, although we're not 100% sure at this moment in time. Nothing has been guaranteed or confirmed from Guernsey as yet. So that ends this in the post box. We have several things to get through before the end of the year and uh, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough time to do all of it but I'll, try, I'll do my best for you. The other good piece of news is uh, earlier on this week or towards the end of last week I actually surpassed the 100 subscriber mark. Yay! So, thank you to everybody who has subscribed and if you haven't, please think about doing so because I'd love to have you along for the rest of my journey through coins and banknotes and militaria and collectibles in general. So I will be doing a 100 subscriber giveaway but it won't be for the next week or so. I want to make sure that the number that I've got to so far, which is 104 subscriber, settles down and doesn't drop back below 100 before I do the giveaway. I will be showing a few possibilities of the giveaway and asking you for your input. That will be later on this week. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for allowing me to pass the 100 subscriber mark. It means an awful lot to me. If you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins from the net or wherever you're buying them from, I hope you can get them for the price you want to pay. And finally, I do four different videos a week as a minimum. And if I'm hoping that you also find something you would want to watch, during that week and if you haven't already subscribed could you please think about doing so or if you're brand new here and you think I deserve it please give me a like and also subscribe if you believe I deserve it so like comment and subscribe I would love to hear from you and until we meet up again on this channel which I hope will be not too far into the distant future from me thank you very much for may allow me to pass 100 subs and until we meet up again from me bye bye ta now